Stop accepting the unacceptable. I was amazed when a friend of mine drove up in my driveway with his new Porsche. It was a beautiful car. I am always happy for the good fortunes of my friends. After getting in the car and sitting and looking at all the gadgets and the leather, he turns to me and says, this is not the car I really wanted. They had another car sitting on the showroom floor. I looked at that one first. It had everything I wanted as far as amenities went, but it was $30,000 more. So I settled for this one instead. Needless to say, I know my friend will never be fully satisfied with this beautiful car he has now. He will always, when passing that car dealership, be looking at that model on the showroom floor with regret. In some ways feeling disappointed with this car that he will be paying a hefty car note and insurance for the next five years. It is important to know what you want, that is what is acceptable, and what you do not want, that which is not acceptable. If you can't stand the smell of cigarette or weed or cigars in your house or in your clothing or in your personal space, don't get intimately or emotionally involved with someone who smokes like a train because it will not matter that they fulfill 99 out of your 100 wishes on your wish list that one unacceptable quality will eventually become the deal breaker always.